of this initiative by the government in my experience as an actress and as a, a producer and as a broadcaster now i think i'm in the middle of all this and i need to actresses what to do my fellow producers and my fellow broadcasters so thank you and sorry i forgot to mention my channel is swahili only so i need the over 200 million speakers to watch my channel and i'm going to do that very soon um, my name is john um, uh, i'm an investor i'm a serial investor lifestyle i'm nigerian and um business as film and you guys with the business of making films i just do the business part thank you okay uh that's good um i wanted us to ask ourselves one question before we begin this discussion should we even start talking about co-production or should we start talking about the business part of film because if our business part of film if we don't have money in our pocket how can we even co-produce? Who wants to partner with an industry that is not profitable? I just want to throw that question uh, back there. And to tie it in on that, I want to start with John Kamara. I, want, I think um, I'm really, really, really proud. Uh, many people tarnish Nollywood movies, but there's one thing that these guys have. They have money in their pockets. As we are talking today, these guys, uh, film is the second highest contributor to the GDP in Nigeria. And here in Kenya, we are producing big films, we are winning film festivals, but the translation of that, how, we are not seeing that in terms of money uh, in the pockets of our creative industry. So we just want to know, how does your industry work in Nigeria? Um, thank you for the question. Mm. The Nigerian film industry is not um, that much different from any film industry, but the difference is that we're very focused on the financial part of what we do. Um, when we first started, when Nollywood first started, I'm sure you've all seen it, it was probably not the best movie industry you could talk about. It was, the quality was really bad. Um, a lot of, but we had different sectors. So we have the filmmakers, we have the promoters, we have the distributors, and we have the consumers. So we had all the different parts and of the industry covered from day one, and that was probably the blessing that we had. So people who made films were not the same people who sold films. People who sold films were not the ones who actually invested in films. A lot of the people who made money as an investor in the film industry in Nigeria actually have no idea how they write the script, but we just found a loophole that says we can make money. And also, basically, the Nigerian film industry, we were not really bothered about um, what the international community thinks about us or how they think about us. We're insulated enough to make enough money within our own market. So everything we did created was for Nigeria first. You know, we had no interest in trying to create movies or win Oscars or go to Hollywood or anything. That was not the point. We made movies that were Nigerian stories. Nigerian film industry was not driven by government. Today I've been here since about 11, 12, heard a lot about government and it's only just recently that our government everything that has driven our film industry is private sector. 98.5% of the to say if we demand something, they will give it to us. We don't have to see and have policy meetings because that's you know that's all great. It's fantastic, you know, if you come from that angle. But you know, one thing that I would advise is that government can only help you but they will never grow the industry for you. It's not possible. You know, the, the conversation to want to like Kenyan films and then like Kenyan films rather than worry about making films that everybody else would accept. First of all, make movies for your own market because if you do a co even if you talk about co-production and if we do co-productions in Nigeria, it's truly Nigerian. So we want to make movies before. 